I chose this lovely image of a Glanville artillery as the basis for my design for a small scale lockdown flag project. In the UK this butterfly is unique to the Isle of Wight so I thought it was a nice way to celebrate my local environment which has been declared a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. I simplified the image in Photoshop and created a design using colours I knew I had available in offcuts. I put the finished design through my A4 printer in sections and sellotaped it together to make a paper template. I traced the base design onto off-cut fabric and then began tracing the pattern onto more scrap fabric. Hot cutting the pieces out and taping them to my base design was a time-consuming process, as was sewing them all on. As lockdown progressed, so did my fritillary. Any time the dining table was free of family lockdown activities, ranging from schoolwork and board games to meals, was my chance to sew. Once I had removed the back from the coloured sections, the butterfly was finished and looked really lovely with the light coming through. Next I began the background which was made of off-cut spinnaker fabric. And then the final stage of pinning my fabric fritillary evenly out into position on the background. It's always worth spending the time to evenly pin out the whole design as it makes the sewing it on so much easier. At this stage I could see the design coming together and I was loving the colour combinations and getting towards the end of the process. All that remained was to carefully remove the back of the flag to allow the light to come through. I love how this butterfly kept me occupied on and off for the first few weeks of lockdown as I came to terms with the loss of all our event work this season. As well as being a symbol of our island status as a biosphere, this butterfly spoke to me of transformation, freedom and environment and my hope for a transformation of our relationship with our environment for the better. Its first flight will be for Hullabaloo at home.